Good morning all. We welcome you in the seat of Lord Jesus Christ Savior in this beautiful Sunday online worship. Let's begin this worship. Come let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. We will submit this service in our God's hand. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you and to praise your holy name for this beautiful Sunday worship morning. You have given to us to come to your presence and worship you, adore you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, Savior. Thank you for your love, the protection, the blessings in which we have received in the last week. And thank you once again, you have brought us together to worship you in spirit and truth. We want to submit this whole service, your mighty and thy hand. Be with us and guide us. I pray this prayer in Jesus' name, we all say, Amen. For this time, choir will lead us in praise and worship. Good morning, church. We welcome you all on this beautiful Sunday morning. As the word says, let everything that has spread praise the Lord. Let us bow down and let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful time, Lord Jesus. We submit ourselves into mighty hands. As your word says, O Lord, let everything that has spread praise the Lord, O Lord. Father, as you have chosen us to praise and worship your name, O Lord Jesus, we thank you for this opportunity, O Lord. As you are going to praise and worship your name, O Lord, let your angels guide us and lead us. For that time, I come into your mighty hands. In Jesus' name, prayer. Amen. For the first song, we'll be singing as we gather. As we gather in this place today. Holy Spirit, come and have your way, have your way. As we lay aside our own desires, sweep across our hearts with holy fire, have your way. This is your house, your home. We welcome you, Lord, we welcome you. This is your house, your home, we welcome you today. As we offer up our hearts and lives, let them be a living sacrifice. Have your way. Be glorified in everything we do. Be glorified in everything we say. Have your way. This is your house, your home. We welcome you, Lord, we welcome you. This is your house, your home. We welcome you today. As we praise, O oh Lord, draw near, it's your voice we long to hear. This is your house, your home, we welcome you, Lord, we welcome you. This is your house, your home, we welcome you today. This is your house, your home. We welcome you, Lord, we welcome you. This is your house, your home. We welcome you today. Lord, we welcome you today. Yes, we welcome you today. For the next song, let us sing for those tears I died. Jesus said, come to the water, stand by my side. I know you are thirsty, you won't be denied. I felt every tear drop when in darkness you cried. And I strove to remind you that for those tears I died. He said you'd come and share all my sorrows. You said you'd be there for all my tomorrows. I came so close to sending you away. 
And just like you promised, you came here to sing. I just had to pray. I just had to pray. Jesus said, come to the water, stand by my side. I know you are thirsty, you won't be denied. I felt every teardrop when in darkness you cried. And I strove to remind you that for those tears I died. Your goodness so great, I can't understand. And dear Lord, I know that all this was planned. I know you're here now and always will be. Your love loose my chains and in you I am free. But Jesus, why me? But Jesus, why me? Jesus said, come to the water, stand by my side. I know you are thirsty, you won't be denied. I felt every teardrop when in darkness you cried. And I strove to remind you that for those tears I died. Jesus, I give you my heart and my soul. I know that without you I'd never be whole. Savior, you opened all the right doors. And I thank you and praise you from a tumble shores. Take me, I'm yours. Take me, I'm yours. Jesus said, come to the water, stand by my side. I know you are thirsty, you won't be denied. I felt every teardrop when in darkness you cried. And I strove to remind you that for those years I died. For this time, for the glory of God, we will sing hymn number 369-369. Oh, happy day that fixed my choice, only my Savior and my God. Then may this glowing heart rejoice, and tell this rapture's all abroad. Happy day, happy day, when Jesus washed my sins away. He teaches me to watch and pray, and live rejoicing every day. Jesus was 
washed my sins away. He teaches me to watch and pray, and He rejoicing every day. Happy day, happy day, when Jesus washed my sins away. Express our faith saying the Apostle Creed prayerfully. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended to hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. For this time, we have a response reading. Response reading has taken from Psalm number 34. And may I call Sister Joyce to please come forward and lead us in response reading. For glory of God, we read Psalm 34 responsibly. I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. My soul will boast in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his names together. I sought the Lord. He answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you he sent, for those who fear him lack nothing. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those that seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil to cut off the memory of them from the earth. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted saves those who are crushed in spirit. A righteous man may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. He protects all his bones, not one of them will be broken. Evil will slay the wicked, the foes of the righteous will be condemned. Last word we all read together. The Lord redeems his servants, no one will be condemned who takes refuge in him. The Lord God bless all these verses for us. Once again, for glory of God, we will sing hymn number 454. 454 Down in the valley with my Savior I would go Where the flowers are blooming and the sweet waters flow Everywhere He leads me I would follow, follow on Walking in His footsteps till the crown be won Follow, follow, I would follow Jesus anywhere Everywhere I would follow on, follow, follow, I would follow Jesus. 
Everywhere he leads me, I would follow on. Down in the valley with my Savior I would go. Where the storms are sweeping and the dark waters flow. With his hand to lead me, I will never, never fear. Danger cannot harm me if my Lord is near. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. Anywhere, everywhere, I will follow on. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. Everywhere he leads me, I will follow on. Down in the valley or upon the mountain steep. Close beside my Savior would my soul ever sleep. He will lead me safely in the path that he has drawn. Up to where they gathered on the hills of God. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. Anywhere, everywhere, I will follow on. Follow, follow. I will follow Jesus. Everywhere he leads me, I will follow on. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for once again for this time you have given to us to come to your presence for this beautiful online Sunday worship morning. Thank you for your love, protection, the care, and all the good things for your doing for us, Almighty Lord. We want to thank you and to pray for we want to praise your holy name for that. Whenever it comes to your presence in the Lord Jesus Christ's name, you are always there to listen our prayers and give answers back to our prayers, Almighty Lord. For that reason, we once again, we want to come to your presence in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ's Savior. Before that, you clean us, wash us, and make us holy. So we will ask whatever you are going to give miraculously and beautifully away. Lord Almighty, we want to pray for our wonderful church, each and every member of the church. Uh, those are not well, those are in hospital, in home, in so many problems, circumstances, and various stumbling blocks. They are facing the concerns, the temptation, the taste, the trials they are going through. You know, Almighty Lord, we want to pray to you. you Heal them all, you be with them, you strengthen them, give them power, wisdom, knowledge, and all the good things, the things they wanted to you from their lives, miraculously, Almighty Lord. We want to submit their lives, their families, their work, their all the things, your mighty and thy hand. O Lord Almighty, let your spirit upon their lives and their families, Almighty Lord. Through our church, your name will be glorified and magnify especially we want to pray for our uh, church committees see youth people sunday school our children the women's fellowship and the choir almighty lord we bless these committees and all our committees for your mighty name and use it for your extension of kingdom almighty lord whatever they have planned the purpose the concern for your glory for your worship, your word, your prayer, for children and youth and women. For oh, Almighty Lord, we want to pray to you. You guide them, you lead them as you want to guide and lead them for your glory, Almighty Lord. And also, we want to pray for our station members. We want to submit them, your mighty and thy hand. Be with them and also let your grace and mercy upon their lives miraculously and prayerfully, Almighty Lord. Also, I want to pray for our pastor and his family and his ministering over here. Bless him, guide him, lead him, and heal him completely, Almighty Lord, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, Savior. Also, we want to pray for our evangelical work in various parts of Kolhapur district. We Lord Almighty, we want to submit out all the people over there and the new believers, newcomers, mighty and thy hand, be with them and guide them, strengthen them, whatever they have planned, the purpose, and the need, whatever they needed in their life. To move further, oh, you provide them miraculously and wonderfully. Also, we want to pray for Kola Purchase Council, all the pastors, evangelists, missionaries, and our executive committee, and all our town and 
city churches and all our medical, evangelical and social and education ministry over there. We bless each and every aspect of Kolapur Church Council, Almighty Lord. Through Kolapur Church Council, your name will be glorified and magnified, Almighty Lord. This, this time, we want to patiently pray for Kolapur District, Kolapur City. We will bless this city, we bless this district, and also, Lord, through this city, this district, your name will be glorified and magnified, Almighty Lord. Especially, we want to pray for our state, Maharashtra, the governor, the chief minister, and the cabinet minister over there. You be with them, guide them as taking decisions for the betterment of Maharashtra, the Maharashtra people, who all matter of the concerns, the problems as they know. We want to pray to you, let that the plan, the purpose, whatever they have, that will be successful in days to come for each and every people of this Maharashtra Almighty Lord. The Maharashtra government and the people are suffering from so many uh, problems and so many circumstances. I want to pray to you, you guide them, lead them miraculously and beautifully by Almighty Lord. Also, we want to especially pray for our country, India, our president, our prime minister, the cabinet minister, each state governor, chief minister, and their all the MPs and MLAs of our country, Almighty Lord. We want to submit their lives to mighty and the hand, whatever they have they are doing, that will be good for each and every people of this country, Almighty Lord. And whatever we have concern, the problems, the challenges as the country is facing now. The situation is going in various uh, towns and states and cities. Almighty Lord, we want to pray to you. You let your peace spread upon their miraculously and beautifully way. Take care of all the people. And also we want to pray for these corona cases in increasing numbers in uh, some states, some districts, some cities. We want to pray to you, Lord, Lord Almighty, you stop that. And the third wave is coming. We know, we don't know what is there, but you know all, Almighty Lord. We want to pray to you, you stop that third wave, miraculous and beautifully way, Almighty Lord. And also, take care of all the people's life, mighty and thy hand. Give healing to each and every people of our country, Almighty Lord. And the vaccination is program is going on fast. I want to pray to you, let each people get vaccinated through the government and through the uh, government authorities, Almighty Lord. Once again, we want to submit this whole service, Almighty and Thy Hand. Reverend Kali is going to preach from your word. I want to pray to you, let you speak through him miraculously and wonderfully. And whatever your plan, the purpose in our lives, you reveal us through him in this worship, Almighty Lord. Once again, thank you for this time. When whatever we ask in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, you have listened and you have answered back our prayers, O Lord Almighty. For that, we want to thank you and we want to pray to your holy name. I pray this prayer in Jesus' name. We all say, Amen. For this time is offering, and may I call choir to lead us in special number.
this time we will pray for this offering heavenly lord we want to thank you we want to praise your holy name for this time as we collected this offering and given to you we want to pray to you you bless this offering and use it for extension of the kingdom almighty lord thank you for the beautiful song the choir has sung here and with this offering we want to submit our life as an offering to almighty and thy hand and use it that also for extension of the kingdom for your only almighty lord thank you for this time in jesus name i pray amen the scripture portion has been taken from isaiah chapter 41 and verse 14 isaiah 41 chapter and verses 14 Do not be afraid O warm Jacob O little Israel for I myself will help you declares the Lord your redeemer the holy one of Israel this is the word of god and may call to Sinai Kale to please come forward and deliver the word of god today good morning church i greet you in the name of lord and savior jesus christ i hope you are enjoying in this september month by the grace of god and with his mercy as we read isaiah chapter 41 and verse 14 do not be afraid o warm jacob o little israel for i myself will help you declare the lord your redeemer the holy one of israel let us pray loving gracious holy father we glorify and magnify your name o lord almighty o god almighty till today you have been speaking with us and today also you are speaking with us thank you so much i submit this prayer in the name of lord and savior jesus christ say amen the book title or this book name is isaiah means the lord saves isaiah means the lord says saves and uh, god says to israel do not be afraid o warm jacob o little israel for i myself will help you declare the lord your redeemer the holy one of israel this book has been written in 700 bc isaiah is a isaiah is a book that unveils the full dimension of god's judgment and salvation and isaiah chapter 1 and verse 4 says god is the holy one of israel here isaiah unveils the full dimension of god's judgment and salvation he wrote during the stormy period making the expansion of the assyrian empire and the decline of israel the situation of israelites people the situation of jacob the situation of israel people were worst they were in exile they were under the pressure of assyrian empire and during those period the isaiah has written this book the stormy period making the expansion of the assyrian empire and the decline of israel in such a situation god saying to them do not be afraid do not be afraid and this phrase in the bible came 365 days and our in year there are 365 days and each day the lord says you and me do not be afraid assyrian tortured a lot to israel israel were in exile and that time assyrian people assyrian empire 
tortured a lot to Israel and such a situation God says to them do not be afraid do not be afraid they were facing unconditional situation they were facing a lot of trouble and in spite of that and even that situation god saying to them do not be afraid today as you and me staying in such a world today what is our condition what is our situation in the world there are many crises and many issues which makes us to fear recently is we can see and find out in the world the war is in between the nation the corruption is here health issues here religious conflicts is here social issues here political issues here financial decline here and natural disaster here and covid-19 here and right now is third wave is here this all are makes us to fear we all are living in such a world and 700 bc those days the lord says to them do not be afraid do not be afraid this phrase came in the bible 365 days they were facing many trouble by assyrian empire and the assyrian tortured a lot to israel but the bible say do not be afraid do not be afraid and here word has come warm do not be afraid o warm jacob o little israel for i myself will help you declare the lord your redeemer the holy one of israel god says to them warm is anybody is here who can like warm but god says to israelites warm jacob o little israel the warm represent here their situation how they were living their condition their weakness their sad situation it represent and that's why god says to israelites god says to jacob warm job chapter 25 and verse 6 is how much less man who is but a maggot a son of man who is only warm it represent our situation it represents and highlights and wells we are weak in this world in the bible there are most of time the metaphor has been used for men you are grass you are clay you are warm it tells us you and me we are weak job chapter 25 and verse 6 says a son of man who is only warm warm represents our situation and our condition we are very small being david says in psalm 22 and verse 6 but i am a worm and not a man scorned by men and despised by the people he himself confess that i am a worm means she tells that i am weak in this situation and very hard to me to face such a situation beloved my brothers and sisters the israelites were in exile 
and assurance were torturing them like anything and because of that their condition became like warm Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 70 say the poor and needy search for water but there is none the poor and needy search for water but there is none they were poor they were needy in those days in exile time they were needy they were poor they were searching their needs but they unable to find out they were poor and in needy in exile in such situation god saying to them do not be afraid do not be afraid do not be afraid o warm jacob o little israel warm means jacob o little israel if you see geographically israel is very small country if you see their population very small and bible says here god says here warm o jacob o little israel the god almighty had chosen israel as his representative in the world that's why he chosen abraham and his descendants to be his own children as representative to in this world but let me tell you but israelites or israel people they fail to do this and that's why they moved many exile they went through they went through in assyrian they went through in egypt they went through in babylon they went through in persian they went through in greek they went through in latin and lastly british because they failed to be the representative of god in this world and that's why they moved in exile dear brothers and sister today those who are believing lord jesus christ they all are his representative in the world today means you and me 2021 we all are representative of god almighty john chapter 1 and verse 11 to 12 says he came to that which was his own but his own did not receive him yet all who received him to those who believed his name he gave the right to become the children of god and today you and me are the children of god you are staying in anywhere of this world in a part of the world or part of india we all are the children of god because we believe in jesus christ and that's why god has given us right to become the children of god 700 bc god said to them do not be afraid and today god saying to you and me as we are the representative of god as we are the children of god and saying to you and me do not be afraid do not be afraid my son and daughter do not be afraid brothers and sister this world's issue war and the corruptions and health issue religious issues social issue the political issue and financial decline and natural disaster and covid-19 third waves making us to warm means weak and sick and unstable in today's realm and that's why most of time we go through in fear 
what will be our future but here also god says same phrase do not be afraid do not be afraid he knows our situation he knows our condition because he is our god in that same verse do not be afraid o warm jacob o little israel he not only stopped there but instead of that he extended and he says for i myself will help you declare the lord for i myself will help you declare the lord and some 121 says i will lift up my eyes unto the hill where from my help come my help come the the maker of creator of heaven and earth our help comes from our creation and here creator is saying for i myself will help you not people not any empire but god himself saying you and me i myself will help you declare the lord that's why no need to fear do not be afraid and that's why god says here do not be afraid for i myself will help you declare the lord whatever we are facing today's situation god knows it our condition because he is our god and he says for i myself will help you declare the lord this bright hopeful promise to everyone today this bright hopeful promise to everyone today those who believe in jesus christ those who believe in jesus christ for them he says for i myself will help you declare the lord isaiah further says isaiah chapter 63 and verse 16 he is our father but you are our father our god is our father you o lord are our father our redeemer our god is our father and that's why he says for i myself will help you declare the lord isaiah chapter 64 and verse 8 says it o lord you are our father we are the clay you are the potter we are all the work of your hand he knows our situation because he is our creator our maker his potter and we are clay and i just say you are our father why he helps us why god wants to help us in our crisis in our such a situation right now we are facing natural disaster and covid 19 in such situation god want to help us why he want to help us because he is our lord because he is our redeemer deliverer why he want to help us he is our holy one our god is our lord our redeemer and holy one that's why he says for i myself will help you for i myself will help you ij chapter 41 and verse 17 and 20 ij chapter 41 and 17 to 20 the poor and needy search for water but there is none their tongue and are parched with thirst but i the lord will answer them i the god of israel will not forsake them i will make river flow on barren heights and spring within the valley i will turn the desert into pool of water and the parched ground into springs i will put in the desert the sea and acacia the myrtle and the olive i will set spine in the wasteland 
the fear in the Cyprus together so that people may see and know, may consider and understand that the hand of the Lord has done this, that the Holy One of Israel has created it. Dear brothers and sisters, the word of God has come today to you and me from Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 15. Do not be afraid, O warm Jacob, O little Israel, for I myself will help you, declare the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Instead of, O warm Jacob, O little Israel, put your name, your family name, your church name, your city name, your nation name, and put the world. Do not be afraid, O world, for I myself will help you, declare the Lord, you, your Redeemer, the Holy One of the nation. May God bless through this meditation. Let us pray. O God Almighty, you are our Redeemer, your Savior, who can save us from the all trials and troubles. O God Almighty, I submit this situation in thy hand. Once again, the national disaster is here. Once again, the COVID-19 third wave is here. O God, please help us in such a situation. As your words say, do not be afraid, for I myself will help you. Please kindly help Wilder Memorial Church. Please help all of us, those who are watching and seeing this online program of God. Please kindly help your sons and daughters, those who believe in you. And give us heart and courage to believe in you as to become your children. I submit to all in your mighty hand. In the name of Lord Savior Jesus Christ, say, Amen. Lastly, we all sing hymn number 463, 463. When we walk with the Lord In the light of His Word What a glory He sheds on our way While we do His good will He abides with us still And with all who will trust and obey Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Not a shadow can rise, not a cloud in the skies, but a smile quickly drives it away. Not a doubt, not a fear. Not a sign, not a cheer Can abide while we trust and obey Trust and obey For there's no other way To be happy in Jesus But to trust and obey Not a burden we bear Not a sorrow we share but our toil he doth richly repay Not a grief, not a loss Not a frown, not a cross But it's blessed if we trust and obey Trust and obey For there's no other way To be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey But we never can prove The delights of His love Until all on the altar we lay For the favor He shows And the joy He bestows Are for them who will trust and obey Trust and obey for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. 
men in fellowship sweet. We will sit at His feet, or we will walk by His side in the way. What He says we will do, where He stands we will go. Never fear, only trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus. But to trust and obey. This time we all say Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy the kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will, and may he work in us what is pleasing to him, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Let the beauty of Jesus be seen Jesus be seen.